guys, it's JD and welcome to a new reading vlog. So this vlog is potentially just going to be a day long vlog or it might just be like a couple days honestly. Don't really know but yeah we're going to just go with it. So my intentions of this vlog are to just be productive, get things done, a bit of like a day in my life vibe and to also hopefully get some reading done. So right now it's quite late in the day. Um, so it's currently 2pm but I have got quite a lot done today. I've showered, I've washed my hair which is why it's so fluffy because I need to do something with it and I've finished editing a bit of a weekly reading vlog. I filled out a tax form I needed to do, I've done some emails, I've just got some other little bits done and then I did spend some time watching a K-drama. So the K-drama I've been watching, I've forgotten what it's called, let me just check because this is one of the best K-dramas I've ever watched in my life and I'm obsessed with it. It's so annoying though because it's a weekly episode so I'm on the most recent episode and then after that I've got to wait like another week. Um, so the K-drama is called um, The Extraordinary Attorney Woo and oh my goodness guys seriously if you like k-dramas go and watch this it's on netflix it is so good it's basically about this attorney who has autism and it's about her kind of navigating the world of like the law and things like this and proving to people that she's more than just her disability like people look at her and all they see is autism and they treat her differently for it and she's trying to like prove to them like you know that's not the case like I don't know it's just really really interesting and I am just loving it and there's like kind of like a little side romance going on and like each episode is like based off a new case so it's so interesting to see how it works and like Korean law is obviously very different as well I don't know like the whole thing it's just so fun I'm loving it I love the main character I like the supporting characters and it's just really really good so far so I would highly recommend it but yeah I did end up watching some of that and then I ended up on TikTok for a while which I should delete TikTok off my phone because I waste so many hours of my life on it but at the same time it's so entertaining and so fun but yeah anyways I have listened to a bit of an audiobook today so this is a bit of a random one it wasn't on my TBR but I had it on Audible still and I just kind of decided to go with it um, but that is the fourth book in the Mortal Instrument series so this is City of Fallen Angels and this is the fourth book so I'm only like just over 100 pages into it on audio and I read the first three in the series last year I think it was or maybe I read some of them the year before it might have actually been 2020 during the first lockdown I think I think it was so it's a couple of years ago and honestly I don't really remember a lot of what happened but I don't want to go back and reread them because I've reread the first book three times it's not my favorite I really don't really like it I really dislike Clary and Jace but I obviously want to read this series because I know I'm going to love her other series but yeah like some bits in here I can't really fully remember but I'm going with it I'm not put myself through the pain of reading those first three books again and yeah this one's okay so far it's just Clary's just so annoying and Jace is just so like ugh like he is an ick like he gives me the ick and yeah like I just don't like them so yeah I am reading this series purely for Magnus and for Alec. They're the only characters I really like and Isabel. But besides that, I don't really like any of the other characters in here. So yeah, I do want to try and get through this because I want to be able to read the other books in the series. But that does bring me to my TBR pile, which is just not good, guys. It's not good. I'm not in a slump, but I'm just reading so many different things at the moment because nothing's taking my interest. One of the books I'm currently reading isn't in this stack, but this is my current stack of books that I'm reading. And I'm also reading The Spanish Love Deception. I'm 60 pages into that. And I am enjoying it, but it's just like... I feel like the author read The Hating Game and then decided to write, like, a new version of The Hating Game and then was like, hang on a minute, let's do fake dating, let's do a holiday in Spain, let's do a wedding. So, like, I feel like... The beginning part that I've read so far is very similar to The Hating Game. Like, Aaron, is that his name? I think his name's Aaron, the love interest. He's so like Josh from The Hating Game. Like, literally, they are just the same fictional character in my head. And, yeah, I'm still enjoying it, though, but it's just really reminded me of The Hating Game a lot. And I'm pretty sure The Hating Game was published first. And we're 60 pages in, we're still, like, setting things up. So I think maybe when we get to the actual fake dating part is when I'm just going to start to really, really enjoy this book. I feel like at the moment, I'm just kind of like, mm, it's okay, it's fun, but I'm not obsessed. But I feel like when we get to the fake dating bit, 
I feel like that's when I'll start to really love it. But yeah, I am reading that. And then I'm still reading all these books that I think I spoke about probably in my last vlog. Um, so this is the poetry collection I'm currently reading, which is Wild Embers. I've made no progress on this for the past couple of weeks. I'm just reading like the odd poem sometimes. So maybe I will try to read some of that today. Patreon Buddy Read, which is My Killer Vacation by Tess Bailey. Not made any progress on this for ages and I really do need to finish it. So I feel like I should probably prioritise this, but I just... I don't know it just I don't know it's given misogyny like the guy so far in here I'm just not really into him which I kind of have to be to enjoy romance so yeah I don't know like we're gonna we're gonna try and push through it and hopefully it gets better but so far I'm a bit disappointed but it could really really get better and I could end up loving it so maybe this will be a priority today to try and read more of but then I also have Clockwork Angel so I started reading this last year and then put it down and I wanted to pick it back up again and I have read like literally a few pages um so I would like to make more progress on this but then I also started Babel the other day and I am only like 30 pages into this and I'm enjoying it so far um I want to read this before I think I can't remember when the event is but I'm going to the author's event um in august i think it's like either mid or end of august so i want to read this book before then so i have like a few weeks i guess to try and get through this which i hope that i can so yeah i don't know which of these books today i'm going to prioritize so there's no way i'm going to be reading all of these books today but i would like to try and read like one of them so yeah by that i mean i not finish them i mean just pick up and actually do some reading so yeah my plans right now i'm conflicted i kind of want to go out to like a coffee shop and just like sit and read and stuff and there is a harper collins bookseller event tonight that i'm invited to but it starts at seven and ends at like 10 and i really really want to go because it'd be so cool to like obviously chat with the publishers there's a few authors there and like proofs and things like that and i would love to go but it's just like if that's really late for me i have like four days of work in a row from tomorrow which i'm just gonna be so tired from because of my commute and i just have like a lot to do already and i just think like is it really worth me going when i feel exhausted i don't really feel like i want to socialize too much and it's like four hours well more than it's probably gonna be like five hours with travel of the day that i could have been like filming or reading or doing something and i just i don't know like i feel like i'm just too tired so i might go to that and if i do i will bring you guys with me but yeah that's like my dilemma because i don't know whether to just go into like the city early and like find a coffee shop and read somewhere and then go to that or to just not do that at all and be sensible go and do a food shop because <laughs> i desperately need to do one and maybe just like walk to the local village and get a coffee or something so i mean i guess i could do that i think i'm gonna like get dressed and like get ready and then maybe go for a walk listen to my audiobook and then maybe just sit in like a coffee shop or something for a bit and do some reading but yeah i'm not too sure maybe i'll watch some booktube for a bit first because i'm in the mood to watch some booktube but i am feeling pretty tired as usual so <laughs> i need to like wake myself up and get some reading done and be productive i have another video i want to edit as well but my laptop is being a pain it just does not want to cooperate with me so i don't even know how i'm going to be able to edit anything but i do need to so yeah i have filmed this long intro oh my gosh it's like nine minutes long i'm so sorry so i'm gonna go and figure out what i want to do and then i will catch up with you guys a little bit later i forgot to show these bookmarks as well that i was very very kindly sent so yeah chloe from moonstar emporium reached out to me on instagram and asked if she could send me some of her bookmarks and i was like well yes please because your art is beautiful and i'm so excited i do have some more bookmarks from yasmin at divided pages to show you guys but i'll show you guys those later in the vlog i absolutely love yasmin's bookmarks you all know that but yeah i do have these and these are just so beautiful so thank you so much chloe for sending me these bookmarks because i'm literally obsessed like i can't believe how many you have sent my way they're just so gorgeous and this top one with kiki oh i love it okay so yeah she wrote me this really lovely note so this is the business card and then these are the details here for their social media and etsy um so they're called moonstar emporium so i'll link them down below or you could like pause this and go and check um but yeah this is like the salt star like just look at it 
so gorgeous so yeah i have a bunch of different bookmarks here and this is the kiki one on the top so i'll try and show these more in detail like a bit later in the vlog maybe um but i'll just quickly flick through them now so this is definitely my favorite and then we have this one here and then there's this one and then we have this favorite one which has one of my all-time favorite quotes on look how beautiful that is i'm obsessed we have a crescent city one which again gorgeous another favorite quote we have a throne of glass one beautiful like look at these and they look cute little quotes on the top as well and the art style i am just so obsessed i literally cannot wait to use this one in the autumn because wow just so gorgeous it's so pretty and then this is the last one here so yeah i am just in love with all of these bookmarks they are so gorgeous like seriously please go and check out their instagram and their etsy store i will have them both linked down below because these are just so beautiful like i'm literally just so in love i love the little quotes on them and even the back of them is just so pretty as well so there's like seasonal ones there's ones of like lots of famous like books and like sergey mass books and i just love this art style as well um so yeah thank you so much chloe for sending me these bookmarks and i will be making very good use of them but yeah i just wanted to quickly show those and then like i said i will show the other bookmarks that i got maybe like later on in the vlog but yeah i just totally forgot to show those so i just wanted to quickly come on and mention them so yeah bye for real this time <laughs> okay hey guys so i am about to go out i finally got dressed and can't be bothered doing my hair but it's fine um so i'm actually gonna walk to the local village and go to a coffee shop hopefully it's not too busy i've got three books with me so i don't know what i'm gonna read i'm gonna read something and i will listen to my audiobook on the way it's almost like a half an hour walk but i do feel like i want to go for a walk like i want to go out the house um so yeah i'm gonna do that i might try and film when i'm in there don't know if I'll be able to. But yeah, I'm going to go to a coffee shop and hopefully get some reading done and some planning. And then I'll come home and I'll see if I want to go to the Harp Collins event or not. Or maybe I would just go food shopping and then have like a cosy evening. I'm not sure. But yeah. Anyways, just thought I would update you and let you know that I am actually doing something with my day. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, hi guys so it's a lot later in the day and i went food shopping we did a food shop we cooked dinner and then i've been editing a weekly vlog my laptop i want to throw it out the window you can probably hear it sounding like it's literally about to take off like i just wish i could get a new laptop or like a computer or something but yeah my bank account says no at the moment but i'm trying my best but honestly it's testing my patience i'm trying to export something and then i'm gonna to have to wipe my laptop again re-import it edit the other bits i need into it and then export it again 
so annoying and I wouldn't mind if it was a vlog that I liked but it's not I don't like how this vlog turned out but yeah whatever so anyways stressful <laughs> but I want to have like a nice chilled evening for the rest of the night so I've got my jumper on nice and comfy and I have a reading update for the Spanish Love Deception also noticed the tassel has come off my bookmark so yeah that's just an actual tragedy like i'm so sad but anyways i did read a bit more of the spanish love deception when i went to a coffee shop i don't remember how much i read exactly but i'm now on page 87 well halfway through page 87 um, and i'm definitely enjoying this a lot more than i was um i feel like the banter and the humor has definitely improved i genuinely did find some parts of this funny now and it was reminding me of like a sitcom at times which i really liked and yeah things feel like they're starting to get more interesting i've been annotating it like a lot more and just having like a bit more fun reading it so i'm glad that i decided to read some more of this but i definitely haven't done as much reading as i wanted to so i'm going to try and read maybe some more of this tonight or maybe i'll pick one of my other books up but i do have an amazon parcel that i ordered and i'm really really excited because i have those black shelves behind me that you guys have seen for the past like year and i just feel like because there's no window over there and there's only one window in here and it's such a big room it doesn't get much light in that area and i know i have my reading light but i just want something to brighten it up so i decided to order another set of fairy lights and i kind of needed some for that shelf anyway because my other shelves have fairy lights so yeah i ordered some i hope they're going to be big enough like long enough they should be but i'm not sure but yes those arrived so i'm gonna put them on and hopefully it's gonna look nice and cozy i'm really excited and then i'm also potentially gonna move my desk into the middle of the room because i just feel like it might be a nice change and there's just like loads of empty space in the middle here so maybe i'll do that i'm not sure but yeah we are gonna put these oh what was that that just fell I'm gonna put the fairy lights up on there. I hate putting fairy lights on bookshelves. It always takes forever, especially when these are 20 meters long, I think is what it said. So they're very, very long and I'm probably gonna have to mess about a lot until I get it right and find some ladders, I think. But yeah, I'm gonna do it because I just want it to look nice and cozy in that corner. So I'll probably listen to my audiobook or when I do that. But first I need to try and like export this video and try and sort this out and um, because i have another video i need to like edit as soon as possible but i can't until i've wiped my laptop after i've sorted this one out it just it, yeah it's a lot and it's annoying but yeah it's already like quite late in the evening and i do have to be up at like 5 30 tomorrow because i have work all day yeah so it is 27 minutes past nine so I don't want to stay up too late, but I also do want to read and put the fairy lights up and do other things. So, yeah, we'll see. But I will probably update you guys again in a little while. But for now, I'm going to just try and be productive and get stuff done. So, goodbye for now. Frankie, no. Frankie, say this to me. So this is what it looks like now it does look cozy but i added like an extra like little row to this too because i had spares and i put them through the middle but then it looked odd just having like one across but like i don't know if i like it like i'm not sure if it's like too much or does that look okay please let me know in the comments because i'm not sure whether to just have them going around the outside maybe but then it looked weird like kind of i don't know does that look weird? Is it too much? Let me know, because I'm really not sure. Um, but it definitely looks cozier and brighter. But now I'm like debating moving this chair by the window and then putting the desk like here. I'm not too sure, I'm gonna play about with it, but I'm really, really warm. Um, but yeah, anyway, my camera is deciding not to focus, but this is what it's looking like. It is looking quite cozy. Okay, so I've put my desk in the middle of the room and I'm not 100%, like ignore this, this, just needs tidy it's a big mess 
That's Frankie's tail. <laughs> what was that noise? Hey? Are you hiding behind the curtain looking out the window? What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Are you, are you nibbling my fingers? Uh. <gasps> <laughs> so yeah, before I got distracted by Frankie, um, this is what I was saying. I've changed it so it's like this. So I have that little thing and then... I don't know. I'm not 100% on it. We'll see. Um, oh no. What are you messing about with? Frankie, no. Do you maybe want to stop doing that, please? What are you even trying, what are you doing? So yeah, I'm gonna like, keep it like this maybe for a few days and then see how I feel. I feel like my desk is a bit too cluttered, but at the same time, I kind of need all this stuff, so I don't know. I'm reading a lot of books at the moment, um, but I feel like it is kind of cute a bit but yeah this is what it looks like maybe I should turn the light off and show you what it looks like so yeah I haven't turned the lights on anywhere else um but I feel like it is kind of cute like with this lamp on as well it'll look cute and that's uh Frankie's still trying to I don't even know what he's playing with um, but I feel like it's kind of cute, so yeah, let me know down below what you think. Does this look weird? And this does free up space for another bookshelf to go there. Just saying. So yeah, maybe we'll leave it like this for a bit and see how I feel about it. But I do feel like it looks quite cosy in here. Okay, so it's 10.35 and I'm going to be up soon for work, so I need to hurry up. But I'm going to do some editing of the vlog I've been working on. So basically I need to wipe my entire laptop now. And start over which is fun so yeah let's try and do that i think if it will allow me me and technology we just don't go very well together to be honest i always hate doing this because i'm always stressed in case i accidentally remove something i shouldn't i should probably check if any of the songs need a license first before i forget what songs i've used um this laptop guys seriously i just don't know what's up with it at the moment i really don't honestly all of this hassle for a vlog that i'm not even proud of love that actually you guys will have seen this vlog by the time you see this one that made no sense what i mean was you will have seen the vlog that i don't like by the time you're watching this one well if you decided to watch it obviously um yeah, hopefully you guys didn't hate it as much as I do, but who knows. Okay, I feel like that's fine, so let's let's just delete all of it to wipe it clean. And if this doesn't fix the problem, then I don't know what will. Okay, I'm going to go and edit the rest of this vlog and hopefully just get it exported. Why is the screen... Oh my gosh, what have I done? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and edit this vlog. Probably won't read anything else tonight. So if I have enough footage, <laughs> I will keep this vlog as it is. It's like a little day in the life kind of vibe. If not, I may add to it, but you guys will see that in like a few clips time um, because I might like wrap up this vlog on a different day. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling tired. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit delirious. I'm really warm as well, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna edit this, try and get this done. Then once all that's done, I need to wipe my laptop again, import the footage for this other video that I need to edit. And then I need to edit that. So I'm definitely gonna have to take my laptop to work with me tomorrow and work through my lunch breaks at the bookstore. Um, tomorrow's gonna be a very long day. In fact, the next four days are gonna be very long. But once I've got through these next four days at work at the bookshop, I have just under two weeks off again. So, 
yeah I have like a lot of YouTube work planned for that two weeks but at least it's two weeks I can like hopefully get on top of all this I have so much Patreon work to do as well so yeah I need to just get through this as much as I can and then try and find a way to read but honestly this month's reading is just not it um but I'm definitely going to read some more of this tomorrow I think and then after tomorrow I'll be focusing on my killer vacation but yeah I am really enjoying this now but anyways yeah I'm gonna stop rambling and I will catch up with you guys soon